course he wants Biden in office. It's easy to push the guy around, right? Our allies no longer respect us around the world. Our enemies no longer. We know that China was afraid that Donald Trump said, if you mess with us, we will shut you off. We'll hold you accountable. Look, Joe Biden has been a pushover to everyone around this world. The guy walks like he's frail. He talks like he's frail. And what did we see just yesterday? He makes statements, and his own secretary of state is shaking his head to disagree with it because, once again, they have to walk back when Joe Biden says something that isn't scripted. He is a laughing stock around the world. So, Liz, what do you make of, you know, now that he said he's a dictator moments after? Uh, does any of this matter, though? China will continue to do what China does. That's what some say. This is all just sort of a frontier to kind of get some good PR. And, and even Bolster G, who's back home having a lot of financial, he's a bit weak with the financial sectors, bank runs and, and whatnot. Well, exactly. I mean, what you see is a man walking around with his handler. I mean, that's who Joe Biden is. He's totally beholden to China. His family has taken millions of dollars from the Chinese Communist Party. And I think it's a disgrace. It's one of the many reasons why we need President Trump back in the White House. We're giving everything away to China. America is so weak. As Corey said, we're a laughingstock on the world stage. And yet San Francisco is finally cleaned up for China. And they're flying Chinese Communist Party yeah. flags and not a single American flag in the streets. President Trump would never allow this to happen. He's the only president in modern history that's actually held China to account. Mm -hmm.